Hi! Right. So today, let me move my microphone a little bit. Today, I need to do a little quick repair on this laptop. So I got my soldering iron stuff. I think after, since I already have my soldering stuff all out and about, maybe I'll um, solder together something else. Uh, but yeah, so I believe this little laptop right here at the charging port, it is not connected. So I just gotta easily just connect it. We're gonna get this taken care of. Alrighty, so first thing, uh, we're gonna want to remove this battery. Not like, we don't have to fully remove the battery, we just need to... We don't want it connected while we're soldering, that's for sure. So we're gonna have to disconnect this. I wish I had... I wish this table could go up and down so I could bring the laptop up to here so I could be like... Ch -ch -ch. Wait, does my chair go down? Hey! Actually, this is so nice! I look so short, but it's so nice. I didn't stream yesterday because I was playing Satisfactory. Basically, the connections on the... So you know how you, your charging port, like where you put in the... Right here, I'll show you. So that little circular part right here... Uh, basically, it's not connected anymore to the to the board. So I just got to solder and then boop, boop, that's good. But when I do things like that, I like to take out the battery. This battery is just being quite a punk. It's just double sticky tape holding this this battery. Got it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It was literally double sticky taped. There we go. Okay, battery is out of this laptop. Holy moly. Let's fix this little thing. We need to solder that little thing intact. Okay, we're gonna use a micro soldering iron for this bad boy. Get out the micro soldering iron. How do you recommend someone to practice soldering? Ah, okay, so there's a lot of things you can do. There's a few things I would recommend. You can buy, like, practice soldering boards on Amazon. They're really cheap, actually. I have one somewhere. I have one for micro soldering practice. Let me see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. Oh, right here. So this board, it doesn't do anything. Like, you solder the things to it. It doesn't light up. It doesn't... You don't have to add power to it or anything. But basically... Oh, wait. Is this the one? Hold on. This one, I think, is actually a real thing. But basically, it kind of looks like this. And then, um, and then you'll just solder all the things onto it. And it's just for practice, nothing else. But yeah, you can buy practice soldering boards. Um, so you can just like practice on there so that you don't mess anything up. But honestly, my biggest thing is if you have a broken tech, broken tech, any tech, I would say just practice on your broken tech. It's already broken. What's the worst that can happen? You break it more? If you have something that's broken that you don't mind breaking further, I would say definitely just use your old electronics. Take them apart if they're not working. Get a Tamagotchi. Take your Tamagotchi apart. And then practice on something like that. I think the best thing when you take apart uh, like electronics that aren't working and then fixing them, I think the best thing is like when you actually fix it, it's like the best because then it turns on you're like ah oh, yes i did something but i'm trying to move this back a little so you can actually see what i'm doing it's got a 3060 in it which is wild isn't that cool oh your two little fans in here you got your ram this one can actually have upgraded ram upgrading your ram is super easy in a laptop so it's got one stick here we got our little processor what is this this is probably a wi-fi chip I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure this is a Wi-Fi chip. But what's cool about this laptop is there's two extra, two extra spots right here. So it looks like you can put two M2s here, or you could even upgrade it, get like a, uh, what do you call those? A eSIM chip or something like that. Put an eSIM e -SIM chip in here. But yeah, I took out the battery. I don't like to solder with batteries in. I don't like, cause the heat will create, um, the heat will sometimes create like, uh, like electricity and it's just kind of scary to have it on. What is that? Your, 
processors right here, these are your little heat sinks. Wait, is that one the processor or that one? One of these is processor, one is GPU, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I would have to fully disassemble this bad boy. You don't strike me as a tech-savvy person, to be honest. Really? I'm the person that all my friends come to when they break their el electronics. I am... The tech fixer. Okay, let's fix this real fast. Whoop, 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 whoop. So, a lot of people ask me, like, what they recommend when... What I recommend when learning to solder. I think one thing you can do is use a magnifying glass, which I'm not doing. <laughs> but one thing um, I always do is just touch the spot where you want to add the solder. So I'm just going to touch this with the micro soldering iron here. Why am I so shaky? Um, I'm just going to touch this to get it hot. And then I'm going to add the solder to it. So just touch it. I actually might need to get a magnifying glass because I actually can't tell if, uh, if it's connected. Oh yeah, they definitely don't come with hard drive slots anymore. They'll usually come with um, NVMe M.2 slots. So right here and right here is gonna be NVMe M.2s. The laptop hard drives are really ugly. Actually, I can show you one somewhere. I have an old 2011 laptop hard drive. This is a, well, actually it's not even a hard drive. Oh no, yeah, it's a disk drive. So this is what the old ones look like from my crazy old Toshiba laptop from like 2011. It even says my name on it. I wrote my name, Atera, on my little hard drive here. I've got these little portable MM or M.2s. So these are my little NVMEs in case in like portable little cases. This case is super cheap. This one's a little more expensive, but it glows and it looks cool. Yeah, these are two terabyte 980s as well. Definitely, you can connect one of these uh, to a PlayStation. And to your computer, just ch -ch -ch. I just realized why your name is a terabyte. Yeah, you got it. Okay, let me, let me take a little gander. Are you connected, little guy? I still can't see. That should definitely have connected it. Let me double check. Let's see here. I don't like its connection. Hold on. This thing actually has a light here, so I can light it up and probably see way better. I wonder if it'll reach. Okay, let's get this. I don't know why my hands are shaking so bad. Okay. So... All that's left to do is plug it in and see. You're an Intel girl, aren't you? I like both. Uh, I had AMD for a really long time. My current PC is Intel, but only because I fell in love with the motherboard. I love my motherboard so much. And unfortunately, my motherboard is only an Intel motherboard, so I had to go with Intel. Um, but to me, it doesn't really matter. AMD, Intel, I like them both. Intel or AMD used to be cheaper. I'm not sure if they're cheaper anymore, uh, to be honest. I haven't really looked into it in a while, but I used to really like Intel, or sorry, AMD, because they were so much cheaper than Intel. I'm gonna make my chair a little higher again. I'm thinking I should run this downstairs, see if it works. I don't really like my contact job on there, but it's the best I could do. Let's do another project. We're gonna do the lemon. I've had this lemon for a long time. Let's finish this lemon. Let's get ourselves a little pair of helper hands here. Click, click, click. This one's gonna be super easy. Man, I feel like I look like a mad scientist over here. Got our little lemon. I don't even know if I have AAA batteries. Oh wow, this one's actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so this little lemon this little lemon chip looks like this. And it's it's very simple. We got a button in the middle, we got LEDs around the side, and then on the back we've got our resistors, our our uh, chip, and our power. Wait. 
Oh, it's only one resistor. Oh, okay. Well, that's super simple. It's a micro resistor. Wait, Easy E. That's like one of my favorite songs. The one that's like, driving down the road in my 6-4, kissing the girls, slamming the doors. Sorry, I don't swear, so I got a kid's bopify all my favorite songs. Cause the boys in the hood are always hard Come talking that trash and I'll blow your guard Knowing nothing in life but to be legit Don't quote me boy, I ain't said a swear word yet <laughs> My dad swears a lot My dad, like every other word out of my dad's mouth is a swear word Like my dad will call me up and be like I'm so effing proud of you, you're the best effing daughter in the whole effing world I swear to effing eff And I'm like I love you too dad <laughs> It was like that's my dad. Every other word's a swear word out of his mouth. It's pretty funny. I'm like, I love you too, dad. I think swear less if you want to. Swear more if you wanna. I don't know. I've, I've just always been this way my whole life. I've just... I don't swear. I'm, I'm just a... I'm just weird. I don't know. It's just who I am. But, um, I would say... Swear if you want. Do what you wanna do. You know, it's harder to work with this magnifying glass because it's it's in my way. Okay, we're just gonna have to speed this up. Perfect, perfectly aligned. That's one thing is like, with swearing, I think like swearing, because I like to make jokes a lot and I like to make people laugh. And I think that like with swearing, it definitely makes like comedy, it just makes things so much funnier. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's some times where I'm like, man, if I swore, I feel like it, this joke would have been so much funnier. But then it's not funny because I don't swear. You know, it has that little extra flavor to it. But that's just something I gotta just figure out how to be funny without swearing. I don't know. I fixed the laptop. Or at least I hope I fixed the laptop. Honestly, I haven't plugged it in to find out yet. There we go. Don't connect there. Beautiful. So here's what the little lemon looks like. Boom on. I gotta just solder all those. I want to do some 3D modeling because I really want to... I'm really thinking about 3D modeling and then 3D printing a cosplay. I think it'd be so much fun. I think the hardest part is just gonna be the 3D modeling. But once I get a 3D model, just 3D print it. Maybe add some lights to it. Oh, it'd be so cool. Whoop. I love this one. Oh, you want three volts of power? You got it. Three volts of power. Let's put the positive here. The negative here. Don't touch them. Don't touch. No touchy. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I may have accidentally have fried this. It went from 5 volts to 11 so quick and I was like, uh-oh. I'm wondering if it just doesn't work at that point. Did I really break this? Gotta figure out why my power supply was like, 11 volts. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you break things so unfortunately. Hopefully I don't break this next one though, because this one looks really cool. And it takes a 9 volt, which is really nice, because I have a 9 volt. You know, you know what my dad used to call me when I was little? He'd call me a terror? Or a terrorist. <laughs> and I'd be like, no! He'd be like, you're acting like a little terror. He'd be like, you're a little a terrorist. Someone the other day uh, commented, I think on my, oh no, it was like a couple weeks ago, someone commented on my YouTube video and said, you look like a dinosaur. And I was like, I hope I look like a pterodactyl. And they were like, why? And I was like, because a terra, a pterodactyl? I hope I look like a pterodactyl, you know? <laughs> a ter a pterodactyl is my favorite, is my favorite dinosaur. A terabithia. Man, my name rhymes with a lot of things. Or no, it doesn't rhyme, but like flows with a lot of things. I'm gonna go plug in that laptop. And then I'm gonna see if it works, hopefully. Hopefully it charges again. 
Gotta plug in the battery. Let's see if it works. I'll update you guys on the Discord if it works. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Goodbye.